everybody, and welcome to Dinner with the Don. Now, I told y'all I was going to get on YouTube, and I was going to do something interesting. Y'all always be like, okay, not always, but a lot of the times. Y'all be like, how you make that? Do this. Show me how you do this, because y'all know I'm a chef on the low. So, I thought, why not bring to you Dinner with the Don? Let me show y'all my cute outfit that I got made. Corey, my creative director, got this made. I mean, he designed this outfit. You see this? It's a dime right here, dime right here. This is a bodysuit underneath. Yes. And got me snatch still. Still a bit while I'm cooking. Got the chef hat on with the chef. Got the nice, you know, a crop chef coat jacket. I'm cooking in style. And yes, I got my makeup done. I know people normally don't cook with their makeup done. You, you in the kitchen, you really get into it, but I want to look good. And I got me a little edges slayed by Tay too. Okay, so today we're going to be making stuffed chicken, garlic mashed potatoes, spicy cabbage, and I got some King's Hawaiian rolls. Can't go wrong with these. But I was going to make cornbread, but I got another meal that I want to make with cornbread because it's really, really good together. So I was like, I'm going to just do the rolls for this one. Next week, we'll have some cornbread probably. Make that cornbread with that um, pie pie. Yep. <laughs> That's so good together. Oh, my God. So, and I also got a piece of salmon for Deontay because he went pescatarian. So shout out to him. No, we like meat, babe. Mm. We like the meat. I'm gonna wash my hands because I know y'all will complain and say, but girl, you didn't even wash your hands and I just washed my hands. But I'm gonna wash them again on camera just for y'all. Okay, cause you know they gonna go on you. Okay, get the Dawn. 50% less scrubbing. Dawn might have to see me get a little, little check for that shout out. They're gonna be like, girl, everybody use Dawn. Please relax. <laughs> I got some short white nails. I just had long nails. You know, I was feeling a look. But I gone went short. And I was thinking about um, cooking with black gloves, but I feel like would that kind of be like unrealistic? You know, they say you gotta really get up in there. Look how you cooking. You Maybe do not next put on week. no gloves. Maybe next week, put on some black gloves, get fancy for y'all. Can we make some slime slides next week? Oh, everybody talking about we, 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 we. And I'm the only one in here. <laughs> everybody said, can we? And what I want to do is I want to have special guest appearances. If not once a week, then at least once a month. So besides my loud ass friends in the back. All right, so this the chicken. What a knife set. Right you there. said you had some knives. Look. He be lying. Oh, I like all of these. Oh, okay, we got the chicken. Okay, so this is completely cleaned out. So I do not clean my chicken in hot water. That's silly. You clean it with cool water and with vinegar. So I got this bowl. And I'm probably gonna put my hair up in a ponytail, a clip or something. Okay, so where's the bowl? Put the chicken in the bowl. Water, vinegar. I usually always clean my chicken with vinegar and lemon, but we ain't got none. Especially seafood. I really, 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 really clean my um seafood and vinegar all the time. Regular, not special. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And then we got Deontay's. Hey, Salmon. Special request of salmon for Deontay, the pescatarian. You know what, maybe I'm gonna do the chicken and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the salmon. Just rinse it and get all the vinegar off, of course. I have to get the scissors, cause I'm gonna cut all, all this white stuff. I don't know what that, what's that fat supposed to be? I don't know. Let's clean the scissors. Okay, we're gonna try these out. These are regular chicken breasts from Publix that Nina picked up. Organic, wow, you went fancy on me. Oh, I'm really just taking off this look. I don't, I have like a, they too big. I got like a pet peeve with like the little fat on the chicken. 
really I don't see a lot of it. But because it's organic, exactly. And you see this, it's just, I don't, it reminds me of something I don't even want to say. Lemay, you gonna try some of this? Of course. If it's nasty, you gonna tell me? Yep. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. No, we gotta keep it here. We need all these honest reviews. I know I look like I can't cook, y'all, but I promise I can. Trust the process. Trust the process, babe. I wonder if I could stop eating meat. I mean, as long as you got your film and then shrimp and shit. Shrimp. Deontay can't say shrimp. As long as you got your salmon and shrimp. Salmon and shrimp. What's shrimp? Please don't play with me today. I'm just saying, I've been correcting you since I know you and you still say shrimp. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not how you say it. Shrimp. Say shrimp. 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 Where's the tea? Where's the tea? Scrimp? No. <laughs> Chicken? Now I'ma season it. I always use a lot of seasoning, a lot of different kind of seasonings. So I got adobo, which is all purpose. You know, you see you season salt, which I ain't got nothing to get seasoned salt, but it's kind of like my replacement for um, seasoning salt. Slap your mama, this is my favorite seasoning in the whole entire world. Black pepper, crushed red pepper, but I don't use crushed red pepper on my chicken. I'm using this for the spicy cabbage. Garlic salt, Tony's, which is a Creole seasoning, Dash, onion and herb, garlic powder, original blend from Dash, garlic and herb again. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I got options. This chicken bouillon, this is what everybody use all the time. I tried this and I really liked it, but then I got this right here. I don't know where I got this from, but it's good. It's like my third one. It was probably from like Kroger. Publix, spice rub, chicken spice rub, so good. All right, let's season. Now, I used to make my food real salty, uh. but you know, you grow and you glow. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with a little, okay, this all four pieces in here, by the way, so don't be like, no, you still heavy on it, cause no, I'm not. It gotta get all up and through the end. I ain't even sliced it down the middle yet. Should I slice them and season them? Okay. Slap your mama, my favorite seasoning ever. Original, a little bit of that garlic and herb. Tony's. Nina, don't try to go home and watch this. <laughs> Black pepper. I want to use this. It's really good. I don't know what this is. I ain't grow up on this. All right, now I'm going to mix all of this up. And this is going in the oven. I'm baking these. All of this yumminess is getting baked. And I just started using the air fryer, too. I ain't mad at it. I heard somebody say it was disrespectful to a grandmother's kitchen, but I think the grandma's probably rocking with the air fryer by now. And you see, your food still be juicy. Okay, this is my chicken. Okay, it's nice and seasoned. See that? Mm-hmm. Looking good, right? Nice and well seasoned. Let me know something. Oh, this one got a little extra on it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this seasoned chicken sit right here for a minute because I gotta make that mixture for the stuffing. But I still gotta do a piece of salmon real quick. Vinegar in here, just because. Do not put vinegar on salmon. Yes, you do. But you know what? Y'all heard Tay just say, and I didn't even put it on here. I put it inside of the sink because I was about to, I didn't want to mix it with the fish. I mean, with the chicken. But you don't want me to clean your salmon with vinegar, right? You heard? Hello? Let's say that. Oh, okay. Oh, this got bones in it. Bones? Wow. Nina, what the? That's how you want to okay? Okay, I'm gonna just pour some, some, this is a real uh, Alaskan king salmon. I hate this part. Tell so you want me to tear off this um, piece of skin on the back? Ooh, I don't know the proper way to tear it off. Does anybody else know? Cut it off? I'll be tearing it off, maybe that's the problem. You know what it probably is? I ain't never made no Alaskan king salmon. Season this in here since it's only one piece. Seasoned salmon. Verte. Seasoned salmon, seasoned chicken. This is why I need a sous chef. Deontay, you need to come out so I don't need to be opening up no garbages or doing none of that. I left these sitting out because they didn't have the whipped ones. Because we have to mix this in with the spinach. Okay, so I do not like cream cheese at all. Like, I don't eat it on my bagels, none of that. But when I tell you, I got this recipe too, by the way from my friend, from Bo. He be cooking so good, 
And one day I was in LA and he cooked some stuffed chicken. Baby, it was so good. Oh my God, and I called him when I got home, like, what was that recipe? I got like two, two three recipes that I'm gonna be doing. Babo. He taught me this one right here. And I even hate the smell of, uh, not spinach, of cream cheese. Cook this up, it completely changed. It don't taste like it do on a bagel or none of that. It tastes completely different. I don't know, more spinach. And repeat. You know what, I didn't get no towels. Isn't this up a little bit? Just a really tiny bit, like, and here we are. Oh, we need to set the oven. That's what I need to do. So this chicken probably gonna stay in the oven for probably like 45 minutes on 400. I'm waiting on my sous chef on the trip. Okay, so I'm gonna set the oven to 400. This is the griddle. This is the right oven, right? Bake at 400. We're gonna let that, ooh, it's something in here. See, that's how you know I'm a real chef because I ain't burn this fucker down. Okay, <laughs> so get that going. Um, all right, so let's get to stuffing this chicken. Take the chicken, get yourself a knife. I go to the thickest side. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how. Made a little cut in there. Look like slump. Get you some spinach and cream cheese. And then you just stuff it, stuff it. <gasps> I didn't add the cheese inside. I got my mom's secret. Period. Did you wash your hands? No. No, just open it up. It's okay, open it. And then wash your hands. So I'm gonna add some mozzarella up in here. I'm gonna also take some and stuff it in here. Mix this back up. Now, Bo, you ain't, you ain't do the cheese, Bo. That's all me right there. I'm trying something. Okay, do your thing then, oh, boo. Okay. Oh, oh. Damn, there's so many weeds. Is this gonna be okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a toothpick, cause they always be just spilling all out. And I'ma just slide it from the top to the bottom so it can stay closed. Is the leaves supposed to be this big? It's spinach. <laughs> <laughs> so make that incision again. Go on. Be on your medical. Take it and Stuff it. No, no, that's seriously, that's a lot of leaves. No, it's not. So we're gonna pour the pan up. Ooh, let them know. Yep, so that meat can be tender. Oh, this looks crazy. Look how big chicken is. No, it's that not. That's, thin. no, this is, this is. <laughs> no, you have to think this it's is stuffed. a It's thin. stuffed, it's open and stuffed. That's Oh, look at this. This looks seasoned so good. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to eat that. Thank I you. deserve my own man. I don't want, I don't want my It's man. not gonna go in there. Matter of fact, let me get this. Oh! Oh! No. Oh. I got that small piece. I don't think she seasoned you up yet. I did. Oh my, oh my shit seasoned. You, you know. And I have to play with the dime. Nice and seasoned, boo. I'm not dying. Uh-oh. Let's stuff no, your own chicken. No, I don't. This. I said you want to stuff it. You can stuff it. No, I want you to. Don't try to leave and spoon me out because I have salmon. You, you being this, to do me a good sous chef food. right now. You don't want to see from the monster. No, I do. When I better feel with Mario, you might definitely want to season it. That's so sad that every single time anything, something happened in my life, where it's got something to do with like something Mario want me to do or Deontay want me to do, they always use each other as a reference against each other. But yep. if it was Tay, like boy, yep. if it was Mario. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him what you said, okay? Just imagine what they be doing. Who? Don't start. I'm not, but it's just scary. <laughs> Ain't ate chicken in three days. Now all of a sudden he's talking about, imagine what, imagine what they doing to them fish. Them is still 
animals at the end of the day. Uh, but fish don't believe. Right, what? Yeah. Yes, they do. Filming? Yeah. You're, you're. Shrimp don't believe. What? Strunk? Strunk. All right, look at that. Nice and pretty. Oh, that's Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put, I ain't going to use this one because I uh, I got to... Oh, you, you, you want to you wanna stuff yours? No, I want you to do it. Why do you... I'm about to, I got you. That's not right. I don't know what I'm doing. I got you, boo. <laughs> All I do is do hair. Okay. I can stuff some hair for you. <laughs> stuff some bundles in that wig. Okay, I'll, I'll... So today our special guest is... Beyonce! <laughs> Since this was chicken, I'm gonna clean this for him so he doesn't get any chicken. Yes, I am. You wanna start on those? Get a pot and put some water in it. Okay, so fill that up with some water. But now we got the salmon here, some bones in here. It's gonna be a little delicate. You see, these are bones. Child, that much? You ain't put it on the damn stove. Wait, this is how people don't like. This is how people mamas don't like their kids in the kitchen because they just start doing dumb stuff. We gotta wait to a boil. Huh? Yes. No, I mean I never heard of it. Yes, salt in the water. Never heard of that. You not doing mine right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you need to stop talking to me. Is that enough stuffing for you, or you want some more? You. Are you're breaking my salmon up. <laughs> no, <laughs> salmon is weak. It's not strong like that chicken. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to give me my 40 back. With a little bone in there? Yeah. I mean, I ain't seen that. You trying to kill me. <laughs> you ain't never seen fish with bones? No, that's not fish. Salmon is not like a regular Oh, my salmon. God. Yes, it is. That is a red Alaskan salmon, wild salmon. All right, this is Deontay's stuffed salmon. You didn't stuff mine. So up. yours, you don't don't put yours in when you put the chicken You're in because right, yours cooks. Yours cook real quick. Get some foil and wrap that stuff up. <laughs> okay, so these are red potatoes. I'm just rinsing them off. Nothing spectacular. Rinse, rinse, rinse. This water is hot. I don't know why. Dummy. So now we got the red potatoes. Deontay wanted to put this in his mouth, so I put one in my mouth. We're gonna make the cabbage last. Well, kind of at the same time as the potatoes, but cabbage is simple, cooks down pretty quick, don't take that long. You got kids, do Um, so these potatoes, I'm just gonna cut out, not all the skin out, but you know how potatoes got like this stuff in it. This is, take this out of my mouth. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Put, put the foil on the chicken and on the fish. See all y'all see all of this? I don't be. I gotta take that off. Put the foil on there, and you eat, and, and you can't be doing. You can't be sick. I'm. I'm a guest. I'm just here to help. <laughs> oh, this ain't long enough. Well, do this one first. That's what I'm started. doing. Put it on it. Wrap it under it. Oh my god. I only been here for three days. <laughs> I only been here for like three days. So. I'm just taking all of this off. Cause I can't, I don't, I don't know what it is. Wow, I mean, we just can't eat the skin. It's supposed to be red well, we potatoes. Eat, but we're not gonna take, I mean, all of that stuff on there. It's just, it's a no for me, a hard no. Cut them, even though I'm gonna boil them, just to break it down. Okay, so you could put the chicken in, don't put the salmon in yet. I hope uh, Tucson don't think he's getting no food. Oh, he's not. He will not. You turned the oven now? Yes. Okay, top or bottom? Middle. Put it in the middle, you know, give it a little leverage. Cook the top. Okay, cook where the my bottom. salmon go? Your salmon don't go in yet, babe. Relax. Close the oven. Mm. Salmon cooks really quick. You ain't did nothing yet. Put these in that water. I'm talking about right here. Put these, put, put these in the hands. This is why we, I said, well, I said, I said we need to get some blood. What'd you say? You don't cook with no blood. There's reasons like you that. You don't. I don't, but for guests. Stop trying to front. For guests, I'm getting gloves. Next time we film, I will have black gloves on deck. 
You trying to front. And you see that boiling water right there? You see how it's nice and steamy and the bubbles is coming? And he about to get a massage. EJ? He about to get a massage. Each? Oh my God. And he about to be my sous chef. See how they do? Oh, here I go. Hey. I'm filming a cooking show, so if you need a chef, hit me up. Okay, no, don't, don't, please. Don't. Exactly. Y'all don't like massages. Yes, I do. Like I like massages. I like rough, long, hard massages. Oh. Y'all like them little soft hands. Ooh, that water hot as hell. You see, it's about to overflow. All right, put these in there. Oh, we gotta put you some um lemon on top of on your salmon. Now we about to get into this here. Cabbage. I love cabbage. Okay, what I'll do now? Open the salmon. You never supposed to cut over people. You going to jail. No, you, <laughs> you reached over me while I was cutting. Oh, you gotta I mean, squeeze ahead, it. you can squeeze it on there, but I was gonna say you could lay a few pieces on the top. But I mean it's your salmon, babe. I Dang, should put some hot good. sauce on there. And get some butter. Get, get there. I should put some hot sauce on there. No. A little jalapeno. Nina, you ain't getting none. Why are you okay. up there talking about some? You should. <laughs> you want a chicken. I put all of this right here. That's what? Good. That's good, boo. Yeah. You good. Don't it need to be buttery? Okay, just leave it. Just like that. That's enough. That's that's just good. You trying to clump up my intestines if you... Clump up your intestines? Yeah. You trying to clump up your own intestines. Child. Anyways, um... <laughs> So now we're going to chop up this cabbage. You know what? I never, well, I, I've had, I have had fried cabbage, but I never made fried cabbage. I just tried that this time. No, thanks. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Nina, can you please get it to the side? They just told me to tell you. I don't know if people cut their uh, cabbage up as small as me. Cause when I seen people make it before, I feel like they leave it like this. But no, that's just too damn long. Deontay. Master? Wrap your salmon up. It's this is, this is why. I don't know who she talking to. But... <laughs> you wrapping that salmon up. Yeah, because it's a my salmon. <laughs> okay. And you trying to send me off and putting all that butter on there. You left it up. No, that's happening. fine. That's, that's fine. You can eat as much butter as you want. Salmon as you want. Salmon is very fishy, so it's hard yeah, to get that fish taste taste yeah, out anyway. I'm not, so you need something. We all know you know it. Um, yeah, keep what playing. Fish, what fish smell like? <laughs> little fish, little. Fun. You know what it tastes like. That little fish, hey. Fish fillet. Why you got your bag on? You about to go? Yes. Why are you leaving? You see me right here cooking. Yeah, so the cabbage, rinse it off. Chopped it up. Turn on the fire, first of all. And then. I don't want to um, pour it because I don't want it to get everywhere. Wow, Nina, you didn't get the top to this, huh? Damn it. Is it a, see if it's a top here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this like on medium. And then I'll take chicken broth. And I'm gonna just pour some in. All right, so I got a red pepper, green pepper. This is what I put in my cabbage. A white onion. I make spicy cabbage. So I got the cabbage, green pepper, red pepper, white onion, and I got fresh jalapeno peppers. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these first because they have to be Rinsed off. Rinse. Tusa! Come here. You can find this top, man. Look under the thing. Why are you, why are you, um, leaving? So you just cut it down the middle. And take all the seeds out. Come on. No, come here. Come here. Come here. This is not fitting there. I cut this, this little bottom piece off. 
I don't know why. I just feel like I don't want any germs. I don't know why I feel like that's a germ, but I'll have to cut the bottom piece off. Huh? You got the name on it? I did. I hope we're gonna be all right. All right, so I just cut it. I slice them down and then I cut them into threes. So now that I have no entertainment because everybody left me, I need to find something to talk about. Cause talking about be cutting these peppers. I can eat a pepper raw like this. It's so good to me. I don't know why my mama used to do it all the time. And one day I was looking at her like she was crazy. And then I tried it and it was so good. Like, uh-oh, potatoes. He got this all the way up. Stop over it. Turn the fire down. Okay, back taking out the middle. I'm gonna cut the little butt out at the end. Rinse the seeds out. See, this pepper. Let me say, fresh and delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my jewelry is really not in the way, but I feel like it's in the way because I feel it sliding down my arm. But it's not touching nothing. I don't have the top to my pot. So we put foil over it. We hoping for a good outcome from that. Hopefully nothing sets fire in here. But I don't think so, cause we didn't put hot burning oil inside of a pan before and cooked it. I still probably do not know how to cut an onion without making it cry. They say you're not supposed to cut this, I guess, but it don't click until after I cut it and I'm in here crying. I'm not rinsing this off after every single time that I'm cutting these vegetables because they're all going in the same pot. So let's not even play like that. And I really, really, really love onions. Not enough to just sit up here and eat it raw like I just ate that. I need to work on my um, cutting techniques. I'm gonna use this whole onion because like I said, I really love onions. We got action. These just the potatoes. I'm not gonna take them out. I'm gonna let them get as soft as possible. Those are mashed potatoes, so they get as soft as they want, soggy as they want, because they're gonna be mashed anyway. Oh, my eyes about to start watering. God, please don't do this to me right now. Oh. All right, these jalapenos. I'm leaving the seeds inside because the seeds is what make them hot. So I'm just not gonna rinse them, but I still take the little inside part out. Like I said, this spicy cabbage, so don't be acting scared of the peppers now. It's gonna be so good. Now, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna do. Maybe three, four, is that too many? It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot. I'm gonna do four. I really love spicy food. Spicy food is my favorite thing to eat. I love anything spicy. They about to burn a hole in their ass tonight with this. Four hot peppers, that should be hot as hell. And some cabbage. I don't think I used this many before. But Deontay made some shrimp the other day. He put hot pepper juice in. All oh, type of spiciest of the spiciest seasoning. And we was sitting here crying the whole time, but we was eating it, it was good. Yeah, we a little ghetto, we ain't got the thing right now, but we'll be all right. So I haven't seasoned this cabbage yet. I'ma let all the vegetables cook down first before I season it. It's gonna be so yummy. So I'm gonna have to start it up. So pretty and colorful. And all of this is gonna cook down I need a mitt. It's so pretty. Okay, so 
I'm gonna put my little foil back on top. Take this one out. Put my little foil back on top. Hopefully we won't burn nothing down in here because we ain't got the top. I didn't have to bring my pots over here. Pots, pan. Clean this stuff off. Everything is cooking now except the salmon. I'ma put that in like when everything is almost like 20 minutes done. Cause salmon is very, very, very quick to cook. And what I'm gonna do if I don't have guests like I thought I was supposed to have today, we're gonna do some story time. So we can put in the comments, whatever y'all wanna talk about, what y'all wanna know about me, about cooking. And a lot of the stuff that I be cooking and eating now different from what my mom cooks. Like my mama, she can cook food now, but like my mama know how to make a lot of Creole food, um, like gumbo, different dishes. She, we used to eat at this one place called, I forget what the name of the place is, but it's a Puerto Rican restaurant. They got like these sandwiches and they made out of plantains. Like the bread was like plantain and I hate plantains, but it was so good. Oh, I do not like plantains, but I'm telling you them sandwiches. All right, I'm gonna take the potatoes out now. So these potatoes are done. Potatoes. I'm here. I'm gonna put it right back inside here. So I'm gonna add some butter. Put one whole stick of butter in here. Follow the Who that is? Somebody that cook? Girl, you be banging these mashed potatoes, so if I'm Paula Dean, then what you is? Mm-hmm, a hungry hippo. That's one whole stick of butter, and I might add some more. Add a whole bunch of salt to it, send these blood pressure up through the roof. So in my mashed potatoes, I'm going to use garlic salt, black pepper. I don't have no salt, but see, that might be a good thing, because garlic salt is kind of salty. And I'm gonna use this heavy whipping cream. Bow. So I'm gonna put the heavy whipping cream in. I'm gonna wait to season. And then I get this, let me rinse it off. And I'm gonna mash it with this. Put on a little mitt, cause this is hot. I know y'all probably like, like a lot of um, heavy whipping cream. It's not, it's not. We need these things nice and creamy. Just gotta break the potatoes up. Yeah, I'm mashing with a mixer cause he don't have no masher. Okay, you see how it's all coming together now? Hope ain't nobody lactose in. Oh, you can't stay off. <laughs> so these are the mashed potatoes and we're going to put some garlic salt in here. Look like a lot, it ain't, it ain't. Pepper. And then I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese, just a little bit. Mozzarella cheese about, that's one handful, but my hand's small, so I'm gonna say two. And then we're gonna mix that up. And the mashed potatoes are done. I'm gonna do a little quick taste test and see, I bet, I'm, I bet you I'm going to need more garlic mm. 
That's how you do that. Turn that fire off. Mashed potatoes, done. Bow! I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Now we're gonna go ahead and season up this um spicy cabbage. Ooh. Yeah, I'm grabbing all the seasonings. Maneuvering on over here. Shit, no! Okay, so it's slowly but surely cooking down. So pretty. Probably need like another 25 minutes because I like my vegetables to get really soft, but I don't want my cabbage to be without no crunch. Like I still want a little crunch in my cabbage. So slap your mama. We're making it spicy now, so. Garlic and herb, onion and herb, original. I don't really need that much of that. Tony's, don't get it with the Tony's. And then crushed red pepper. This make your food so hot. It's about to be so spicy. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm still going. Don't be scared. Now let's mix it up. So we got in here again, cabbage, green pepper, red pepper, a white onion, jalapeno peppers, ha jalapeno peppers, and some seasoning. And then I'll use, I didn't use water, I used chicken broth, cause just add more flavor. And what we got the heat on, look a little high. Turn it down a little bit. And I don't have a top for this, so we using foil. Cool, it is what it is. And I feel like we need some more seasoning in here. My arm tied, child. Trying to get them seasonings through. I'm gonna add some more Tony's. Yep. Mm, this is about to be so good. Okay. Cover that back up. Now let's check on this chicken. In a minute. Let's check on it though. Oh, it's about to be hot and steamy. Let's see the steam already, child. Hot! Okay. A little watery over here, why? Just the juices. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in here, but I'm about to make this little cream sauce that I put on the top. Let me show y'all, cause I always put it on halfway through. But this time I'm gonna put it on the stove. Well, you know what, I probably don't really have to put it on the stove, but I am. So I take cream of chicken. Just a regular can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna take this, pour it into a pot. And I'm gonna take some cheese. Give me a little mixer. Let me get my seasonings. I'm gonna season this on up. It's a little razzle dazzle. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna put this on the stove for like two minutes. I really, 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 I don't even have to put it on the stove because it's about to go in the oven. This is just cream of chicken, mozzarella cheese, season it up. And now I'm gonna pour this on top. It's gonna be good. Well, I'll put it up here and do it. So I do this like halfway through. It just add like extra little flavor. Woo! Chicken is juicy. Don't worry about why I look watery. It ain't done. And I pour it over the chicken. Then it's gonna make like a gravy sauce. You can put it over the mashed potatoes. Okay, back in the oven. Voila! So let me taste this cabbage real quick before I, mm-hmm. It's looking like something. It's looking like something. Remember how big it was at first? Nice. Done sunk down like cabbage. I mean, <laughs> like spinach. Don't nothing shrink like spinach. Okay. Let me taste it. Mm. 
Mm. It's good. I think it needs to be hotter. I feel like it could probably use some more seasoning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let this cook though. I don't wanna. Mm, I might be getting crazy with the seasonings. I don't wanna mess nothing up. Okay, so we're gonna let this cabbage cook. Let the chicken cook. Mashed potatoes done. We're gonna put this salmon in here and like. 15 minutes. And then we got the rolls. I'm gonna just take these out. I'm gonna put some butter over them, they're gonna melt. So this 24 rolls, it's not many of us here, but I'm still gonna make the whole thing. And they'll be eating it throughout the night. They get greedy. I usually just leave it on here. I could probably still leave it on here and just put it in here. I could do that, right? I cooked it on paper before. I shouldn't do that. Yep, swear to God. I'm gonna put a little um, spray on the bottom, a little Pam spray. Okay, so put some Pam in there, take the bread, lay it in here, some butter. Let me get a knife. I literally put the bread in like when the food is done because I just want it to, to get it like where it's just melted. I like my, my bread real soft. Nothing cute and fancy. Just smear some butter on all of them. And I really like butter. So it's probably never too much butter. Especially on no bread. Mm, that's my mama fault. My mama and butter is out of control. It's just so buttery. I love it. Some people like honey butter. Well, they even be making it like that, but I don't really like it like that. Maybe from the restaurant, but. There you have it. Everything is cooking, looking good. I'm about to clean up all of this mess. Let everything finish cooking. And I'll be back. Okay, so I know I told y'all I was, you know, cleaning up as I did. I straightened it up, wiped it down. We're looking back like almost how it was. Only thing that I didn't do is wash these damn dishes. Because when we was growing up, the mama cooked, the kids cleaned. She done bought them groceries, came in here, slaved all that hot stove. The least y'all could do is clean up dishes. So that's what they're going to do. Now, I brought my own stuff here. My seasonings, they going back home with me. Aluminum foil, pots, pans, uh, my cutting board, bowl, them pots over there, all that's, that's mine. And I'll be damned if I leave it up over here with them. These heathens. No, sir. Won't do it. And that's what they're going to eat off of right here. What is paper? Paper plate. Paper, plastic, whatever. It's paper. Paper plate and they're going to eat off of it. Plastic fork. See, I bought this from home. I ain't even got no glass plates at home because I just don't play that. Like, maybe one day, but this one I'm going to put my food on because this is as dressed up as it's going to get for right now. Because ain't, no, ain't nobody going to be bringing no glass plates over here so they can be over here breaking. Get out my food! That's the problem now! See, that's your problem! Did you like that cabbage you just ate? Had taste. Dry. No, ooh. Oh, no, I ain't taste it all. Oh, I'm sorry, but. Get, get you a fork and try it. Need some more seasoning? Huh? Tell me what I need. Come on, what you doing? You about to eat. Ooh, it's hot. You think it needs some more seasoning? Yeah. But see, I feel like we, all we're going to do is put hot sauce on it. I feel like I put so much in it. I think I should have. I don't want it to be salty. I'm telling you, I think something, like that food you made, nah, I ain't say dick up in there. The mashed is good, busting. But see, me and you like our food a little salty. Yeah. But everybody don't like their food salty like that. Who is who too? You let in Tucson discourage No, it's not, but no. Nina, come try this, and you tell me what you think. Let me try this. See. When I, when I add this sauce, these spices, I mean, it's, you know what I'm trying to say. Up in here, they're gonna be like, oh, it's, it is salty. They said, go, put some more seasoning in there. Ain't nobody never told me put no more seasoning in no food. So, that's telling me I didn't calm down a lot. <laughs> Come on, try it now. I ain't add no more now, that's just crazy. My Say it's salty and watch what I do. It's busting out. It's All right. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's for, ooh, the bread. The bread. Oh my God, the bread. Okay. Okay. Chicken. 
You're not getting none of that. I don't know what you're doing, man. Tay, this is yours. This is yours, babe, right here. No, seriously, why is it what's juicy? That's the um stuff I put on it. Stop. What you? You said no chicken. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna dip my sandwich in there. No. Well, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna dip my sandwich in there. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done. You didn't see. I guess y'all can take the stuff out y'all own chicken. All right, let's see what it do. Okay, so. Cool. Do is it done? Nice. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. It's overdone. <laughs> this is Tay's, y'all. Let's put it on the plate. I'm gonna get this big one right here because, yeah, I deserve. And I'm putting mine on this plate. They can't get this plate, only me. Let me taste this chicken. Mmm, a whole piece didn't come up. Hot. I'm a, I'm gonna put my cabbage right. And there you have it, folks. Stuffed chicken. Garlic mashed potatoes and spicy cabbage. What's the name? Jensen. Look at that you, bread. Um, mm. You lied. Oh, yeah. Mm. You love dancing. That boy wanted to eat. Mm. Where the plates at? You ain't got none? Boom. That looks good. Now throw some hot sauce on the cabbage. Okay. Look. <laughs> Come on. Look at his plate. So wet and messy like that. Okay. So I like hot sauce, y'all. So don't judge. Say, you gonna see what it's hitting on. Mm. Shit. Just supposed to, oh, okay. You got to say, mm. tell me something. You like it? You, they're buffing, buffing. <laughs> <laughs> you did something with that one. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna do something like gravy on my own. I'm gonna try Yeah, you need to do that. Yeah, you need to do that. Mm. Well, my mouth is like getting watery, like. You, know? you want some? Of course. Let me get a little, um. This shit is Okay. Cool. This shit good. What you thinking, Nina? Hold on. Come on, Mona, what you think? Come on, get you some. Oh. I'm gonna get me some of this on here. I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna put me some of this on here. Love. Mm. Yo, it's so good. She snapped. She motherfucking snapped. You threw that out, girl. <laughs> Where is the utensils at in this house? Let me see y'all, man. Let me go eat them. Mm -hmm. Y'all, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dinner with the Don. We doing this all the time. Don't with the chef, okay? Bye.